In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect Langchain and make it send Slack messages. Yes, you can send it to Slack and you can send it to about 5,000 other apps too, because in this tutorial, we are going to learn how to connect Langchain to Zapier. Let's take a look at what this means here. Now, you'll have likely seen this from another video where we explain what Langchain is. And in this case, it is kind of the bridge between OpenAI, your other language models, and some of your other apps traditionally to load documents. However, what happens when you connect it to Zapier? Well, you're gonna get some really cool things. Zapier can connect to over 5,000 different applications. So all of a sudden, you're about to have the intelligence of OpenAI you're gonna connect it via Langchain. And with Zapier, you're gonna to connect to virtually every single app that you're using in the workplace. And once you do this, you're not gonna just need one smiley face, not two, but you're gonna need about eight different smiley faces for how good you're gonna feel when this comes out here. Now, why can this happen right now? It's because Zapier is releasing natural language actions. And this is a fancy way of saying that Zapier is gonna get really good at taking natural language as an input and doing their Zapier magic to invoke actions out there with your third party tools. Now, the complicated part with this, the really interesting part, is how do you take a natural language and then match it up to the correct API call that you need for your third party tools? Well, that's what Zapier's expertise is with the edge cases and with the API calls that they've been doing uh, up until now. So really, this is just a major extension for them and a really, really cool uh, possibility here. Now here's the view where you set up your actions in Zapier to connect them over to Langchain here. Now the cool part about why this is so magical is because if I were to click on one of these, these are the ones I've already added here, it's gonna ask me uh, for different properties about the action that I wanna take. And you'll notice that usually Zapier has like 20 million different fields that you could fill out and there's a lot of really cool information. But what they've done is they've condensed that down to just the key pieces of information that you need to uh, do an action. And they have this new feature here, which is really where all the magic is, is in this example where I wanna send it to uh, Slack, who do I wanna send it to? Normally you'd fit this in with a, uh, like a static or dynamic value based off of some variable, but right now it's have AI guess. And so it's gonna read that language that you've input into your model and it's gonna have AI guess who do you wanna send it to as a username and what is the text that you'd like to send uh, as well. And if we go back, we can see that that is the case for most of these. In fact, like for the GIFI one, it's search, have AI guess. And so you're gonna have AI guess for what kind of uh, GIF you wanna search for. Uh, if you wanna check out more information, head over to the Zapier Natural Language Actions API on uh, Langchain. There's some really good information there. Um, I should have mentioned too that it's still uh, a gated API access, but you can fill out this form and request access and they're doing it on a rolling basis. So with that, Let's jump into a few sweet examples. All right, let's talk about our imports here. So we're gonna take our LLM. In this case, we're just gonna use regular OpenAI, and this is using DaVinci. We're gonna initialize our agent, but then two new ones here are gonna be our Zapier toolkit and our Zapier, Zapier natural language actions wrapper. And this is just so that it can interact and play nicely with Langchain. And then also it us to import some of my, um, or my API keys. One thing to point out as well, of course, you're gonna to need to pass your open API key uh, to your model, and you can do that via an environment variable, or you can just pass it in directly. In this case, I'm doing the environment variable, and you're also gonna need a Zapier NLA API key as well, and I'm passing that as an environment variable here. So it's not too complicated. Uh, well, there's a lot of complications underneath the hood, but in terms of numbers of lines of code, it's not that bad. So we're gonna initialize our LLM. We're gonna create our, um, our Zapier wrapper. And this is so that Langchain can interact with the uh, natural language uh, API from Zapier there. And then we're gonna load up our toolkit and this is so that we can tell our agent what kind of tools are at its disposal. And then we're actually gonna initialize the agent and we're gonna throw it in right here. So let me go ahead and run that. Awesome, looks good. And one thing I thought would be helpful is, well, let's actually look at the tools that have been loaded up in this toolkit. So um, in, the background, I've loaded up and connected different accounts to my Zapier instance uh, that I did through the development portal for this API. And with these different tools, I've uh, attached a few uh, cool ones here. So I attached my Twitter so it can start to create some tweets. I attached Giphy so it can find some GIFs. Uh, I attached Slack, uh, Slack for some direct messages. Uh, Gmail, create drafts. This is so that I can start to create drafts within my email really easily. 
uh, Slack send channel message. And I also wanna be able to find emails within Gmail so that we can run through a, cool, a few cool examples here. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the agent and I'm gonna say dot run. Now I'm gonna give it a natural language instruction that it's then gonna to pass to Zapier and go execute some things for me. So summarize the last email that I received from Greg at Data Independent. So I used my Data Independent email and I sent it to one of my other emails and that's the one that I connected here. Send a summary to the trending domains channel in Slack. Well, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens here. So the agent is gonna kick off and it's gonna to start to think out loud because we set verbose equals true up here. And so it says, I need to find the email from Greg at Independent. And then it says it's gonna go find the email and find the latest email. Okay, cool, it did that. It found the latest email, which is really sweet. And now that it has the email, it needs to summarize it and send it to the trending domains uh, channel in Slack. It's gonna go through, it's gonna go through there. And here's the actual message that it sent. I wanted to show you what it just did. So right here, I know it may be a little tough to see. Um, VC Ventures is interested in collaborating with Thimble and providing instructions, funding, or fun ideas. And so let's go ahead and see. And here is actually that email that was just sent. And this is a fake email, but this is Brayden from VC Ventures. What are you doing? We love what you're doing. How can we help? So it just grabbed my email from my Gmail, summarized it, and sent it over to Slack. That is super cool. Next thing that we're gonna try out here is I wanna do, um, get the last email I received from Greg at Data Independent, so that same one, summarize the reply and create a tweet. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. And I'm getting this ready over here so that y'all can see it. Let me not block the screen quite yet. And so it's gonna create the tweet. Let's see if I can see it. Here we go. Greg from Great Data Independent wants to collaborate with Thimble, hashtag partnership. I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to refresh this. And look at that, there's that new tweet that was right there. So all of a sudden LangChain's interacting with my Twitter, which is still just blowing my mind, which is super cool, okay? All right, the next one that we're gonna do here is get the last email I received from Greg at Data Independent, create a draft email in Gmail back to Greg with a good positive reply. Let's go ahead and do this one. So it's gonna go grab that email. Awesome, same one we've been looking at. There's the email. Then it's gonna ask for a thought. It needs to create, awesome. Action input, create a draft. Super cool. And it's gonna create the draft right within my Gmail here. So right here, there's no drafts that it's preparing for me. Let me go ahead and refresh this. And there's a draft waiting for me right there. So you'll notice that the formatting is a little off and there's probably some uh, post-processing I could do to fix this up, but I was too lazy for this one. Um, so then and now it's creating drafts for me, which is really, really sweet. And for the last one, let's do a fun example. Uh, get the last email I've received from Greg at Data Independent, find a good GIF that matches the intent of the email and send the GIF to the trending domains in Slack. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and let's see what we can get here. Cool, so we got the latest email, which is great. Now we need to find a, a GIF, find a GIF that matches the intent of the email. And we're getting observation null here. So I did not get into if, so not be able to send it. Okay, not enough information provided in the instructions, missing search. So as you can see, it's not uh, perfect right now while it's still in beta, it's it's early times, so that's completely okay. But there are the seeds of some really cool uh, capabilities here. All right, we gotta end on a winner here though. So create a tweet that says, Langchain and Zapier is great. Draft an email and Gmail to Greg at Data Independent, sharing my tweet with a personalized message. All right, let's go ahead and run this one here. I need to create a tweet, awesome, that's perfect, send a tweet. And so here's the really cool part is, here's the text of the tweet that was sent. This is when it was created and it returned back the tweet URL for us. This is all the Zapier magic that was happening in the background here. Then it's gonna go and create some drafts. Let's go ahead and check, look at this. I'll zoom in, this one was just made. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Let me confirm if that's the right one. No, no, oh, there's two drafts. That was from a previous previous one. There we go. Just check out this tweet that I posted. And if we actually went to this URL, 
we are gonna get Zapier plus Langchain is great. I'm gonna leave that one up there in case anybody wants to go see it. So you can see here how there's some really cool tools about how these are gonna work together and I'm super excited to see what you're gonna do. So please leave a comment, tweet at me, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. I'm curious to see what you're doing. Uh, we'll see you later, y'all.